and there's a danger. You see that water coming off the sponson? Some of that water can go into that inlet right there, and that can put the fire out. So they got to go slow, but they got to keep the water out of there. And then you saw some big rooster tails, particularly, for example, uh, Craig Hop on the outside of the 100 boat beacon plumbing coming with a whole lot of speed. He's not going to fool around with this. Here they come to the line, and uh, leading them across the line uh, right on the numbers is the Albert Lee with the Brian Perkins from the three lane. He had a very, very fine start there as they come whipping down. Everything is clean. We've got to no problem. Oh, a little bit of crowding going on down in that lower corner. Somebody got really wet. In fact, somebody's lost some pieces. J. Michael Kelly got a great start, but he's in the center of the, the field. I don't know that that boat is fast enough to beat Jeff Bernard right there on his inside. Yeah, he, no degrees is dead in the water, so that means uh, basically he is not going to make the final. And I see that the air inlet is off the boat. That means he probably got hit with a rooster today. Oh, he took on a ton of water, and uh, that could result in possibility of a, of a penalty here, so we'll have to see what the outcome is. Meanwhile, we have a dandy deck-on-deck -deck battle with uh, two boats on the inside. It is the... Uh, the uh, Graham trucking and on the outside, it's the Falcon. We told you uh, about this guy, Scott Liddicote. He is really uh, putting the hammer down. And interestingly enough, Chip, you thought perhaps it would be a situation where he'd kind of help the Graham trucking win, but he's going to try to beat him. It's going to be interesting here uh, if they're going to let him race or not. I wouldn't be surprised if they told Scott Liddicote, whoa, he came awfully yeah, close to a park boat. And you ask yourself, why did he come so close? probably didn't see him. You're sitting so low in these boats and on a gray day, you can see that boat's fairly low in the water. 137 miles an hour on that first lap, 137, and here they come. Boy, that boat ride looks awfully good, Mike. It really does. We've got some excellent battles for first and second, and for second and third, and uh, Nate Brown's uh, boat, the uh, Red Dot, uh, with uh, his uh, nephew Kip aboard, just took an awful lot of air, gulped a bunch of it, but coming down with the front uh, straightaway now, and across the start-finish line with the lead, it's the seven boat, the uh, the Valken.com. Scott Liddicote is his first appearance on Lake Washington. Right behind him is his teammate Graham Trucking, Jeff Bernard driving third place. The Albert Lee fourth place. It is the Red Dot, yeah, the and then the 100 Beacon Plumbing in fifth place overall. And another lap at 137 miles an hour. And uh, what's this with the 17? 17 apparently was involved in that little fracas down in the corner. Is going to have to go an extra lap, and that puts Kip uh, out of the race, basically, uh, as far as points are concerned, even though he's trying to maintain uh, position on the race course. All right, here we come around now with the uh, checkered flag about to show here. The, and uh, we have a really dandy battle between two teammates here. It's the Graham Trucking, and it is the uh, Valken.com as they come down side by side. It looks like Scott Liddicote's got a little more horsepower, and he's going to be able to make it across the line ahead of his uh, teammate, Ooh. Jeff Bernard. Boy, were they ever close. 139 miles an hour on the last lap for Liddicote. Third place across the line is the Albert Lee. Driven by Brian Perkins, fourth place across the line, but he has an extra lap that he's going to have to go, so he's only getting the white flag, not the checker. That would be the red dot, and then the uh, checker should go up for the 100 boat here. What's significant, Mike, is that the red dot knocked themselves out. We were looking to the red dot to perhaps be a dark horse, but now he's going to have to really have a good next heat to even make the final, let alone win the Albert.